Hey guys, what's up? Zijin Chang here, and this is a review of the Elephone P4000. The Elephone P4000 is another big battery phone released by Elephone. You might not have heard of it as it might have been overshadowed by its big brother, the flagship, the Elephone P8000. But based on the specs alone, this one looks very well rounded and is a direct competitor to the Unlace MX Base. Check out my review of it right here. So let's get started. This phone is thick. At 9.6mm, it's definitely within the range of fat. I said about the same thing about the Unlace MX Base, which is 0.3mm thicker. But the Elephone feels way thicker because the phone doesn't gradually curve, so it feels very thick and substantial. The front of the device actually looks quite nice. Nicer than the Unlace, as I am a fan of their light-up capacitive buttons. It looks quite futuristic and reminds me of Cortana from Halo. The volume and power buttons are located on the right side of the phone and are quite good quality even though they use the same glossy plastic at the back. The back of the device is glossy plastic and I don't like it very much. It feels quite cheap in the hand and gets very sticky very quickly and can feel disgusting at times like someone rubbed KFC all over the back of the phone. The back is removable and reveals the 4400mAh battery, SIM, micro SIM, and micro SD. The battery is not removable. Overall, the build quality is durable and feels more solid than the Unlace. The phone looks very plain and it's very thick, thick enough to be a deal breaker for some. It is quite solid in terms of durability, but the glossy plastic back is just not a very nice material to touch. The 720p resolution on a 5 inch screen is dense enough pixel wise. The screen quality is simply quite good. It gets very bright, almost bright enough to use in direct sunlight, and colors are quite good. Overall, the screen quality really surprised me with its colors and quality. The screen is definitely not the deal breaker here. The speaker can now put very loud sound, as loud as my sister's Moto G, which has one of the loudest loudspeakers of any smartphone. You can actually hurt your ears if you place the speaker too close to your face. Quality is surprisingly satisfactory, even at max volume. Listening to music videos like Taylor Swift's video threatened to burst my eardrums, not with the bad quality but with the volume alone. You can turn the volume even higher in the sound settings with the volume enhancer but unfortunately that causes sound to distort. I'm quite happy with this speaker, as it outputs a very loud volume and a surprisingly satisfactory quality, even at the loudest sound. Elephone has placed a 4400mAh battery in this phone and should provide insane battery life for everybody. Let's see if it can match up with my THL5000 and MLACE MX Base. I set the screen brightness to 250 nits and reloaded web pages over Wi Fi every few seconds. The phone died after 15 hours. In the video playback test, the screen brightness was 250 nits and a standard definition video was played. The phone playback video for 16 and a half hours. These results are better than my THL5000 and the MLACE MX Base. Real life battery usage matches the results above. The phone was off the charger for a total of 16 hours. During that time, Wi Fi data and GPS was always on. I racked up a total of 5 hours of screen on time, and that included 1 hour of Hearthstone, which famously drained my THL5000 in 5 hours, and I had 38% left. Battery life in this phone is one of the best. Light users can go up to 4 days without a charge, and heavy users can probably get 2 days. You can only drain the battery in 1 day if you play games or watch videos non stop. In conclusion, you don't really have to worry about battery life at all. Battery life on this phone is actually better than the Unlace MX Base, if you are considering that phone as well. Not by much, but about an hour and a half or so. Android 5.1 is installed completely stock on the Elephone P4000, and there are no skins or replaced icons to disturb the stock experience. Quite typical for Elephone, which is a good thing. The Lollipop user experience itself is also very good. Swiping between home screens, launching apps, and general use is all very fluid. Smart gestures are not present in this phone, which is a staple in many Chinese phones nowadays. There is also no notification LED on this phone as well. This phone has multiple languages as well. Pause your video to see if your language is supported. Elephone did not separate the storage into multiple partitions, but kept everything in one huge partition of 12 gigs. That is something I greatly appreciate after having a lot of problems updating large games on my THL5000, which separated the partitions into 4 and 8 gigs, forcing me to uninstall and reinstall games to update them. The MTK6735 is a mid-range processor and is less powerful than the MTK6752 processor, 
in both the CPU and graphics. Let's see how well it performs in intensive apps like games and multitasking. Gaming is completely fine. The 720p resolution proves no problem at all for the processor. I ran N22 as well and got a score of just over 20,000, which is quite bad and it's significantly lower than the MLA's MX base. This phone supports dual band GSM, dual band WCDMA, and quad band LTE. Because it doesn't have quad band WCDMA, it will not work in as many places as the MLA's MX base, so be sure to check out if it works with your carrier. Reception is good. Calls and texts were perfectly fine and never dropped. I had a strong 4G signal most of the time, even in the basement where my other phone, even the Zenfone 2, were having trouble getting signals. Wi-Fi reception was also good, nothing special though. So was Bluetooth, which I tested with my car's Bluetooth transmitter. And GPS signal reception is also quite good, a lot better than the Unlace MX base. In conclusion, connectivity is quite good. Overall, you should get good reception and good GPS accuracy. However, it is not as compatible with networks as the MLACE MX base is. One of the major letdowns of the MLACE MX base was the camera, which had bad camera quality. Let's see if the Elephone performs better. Camera quality is average. It's definitely not as good as the camera on the Elephone P3000S or the P8000, but it's definitely more than adequate for social media and if you take it in the right conditions, even blowing it up on a 24-inch computer screen, it looks surprisingly okay. Nighttime performance was also surprisingly good as well. It didn't look like complete crap, but had actually usable pictures. This is one area where the Elephone P4000 has a big leg up over the Unlaced MX base, as the Unlaced MX base's camera is complete crap. The front-facing camera is average as well, good enough for video calls and maybe some selfies. So what is the verdict on the Elephone P4000? Pretty much every area of this phone is pretty good to great, except for the glossy back. The build quality is durable, the screen is vivid, Speaker is loud and quality isn't bad, and battery life is amazing. However, this phone doesn't come with screen gestures. For the low ticket price, this phone is great. It gets a better battery life than other big battery phones and has a good camera. The only part of this phone which I dislike is the glossy plastic. I can live with the glossy plastic if that means a better camera, and it would have switched from my MLACE MX base to this, except it doesn't support my carrier, but if it does, I would probably recommend the Elephone P4000 over the MLACE MX base. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button above and you can click on any of the videos that should be popping about right about now.